Hi friends, welcome to another edition of QuickTip videos brought to you by dataplatformcentral.com. In this edition of QuickTip videos, we are going to look into a recently released feature in Power BI called Paginated Visuals. Paginated visuals can be used inside conventional Power BI reports to integrate paginated reports. Paginated reports or SSRS reports as they were called earlier are legacy reports which are capable of producing printer friendly multi-tapped multi-page reports. For many of the use cases, paginated reports are still the best choice. The problem with using paginated reports inside Power BI was that they had few limitations. For example, you couldn't pin a paginated report onto an existing dashboard. Inside a page, when you have other visuals, you are not able to integrate paginated visuals along with them, etc. So through the new feature called paginated visual, you are able to integrate an existing deployed paginated report inside your Power BI. Once you integrate it inside your conventional Power BI report, all the features that are available for a Power BI report will be available for your paginated report as well. This makes it easier for them to be deployed to the service after integrating with the conventional report and pin them onto a dashboard if required, use them for cross filtering with other visuals, etc. So let's see a quick demo on how this can be achieved by using this new paginated visual which is available from within your Power BI desktop. Let's go to the Power BI portal and we have inside a workspace called Notebooks Report there is a paginated report called sales by brand which has been deployed from our local machine so this report shows the sales figures by brand and we also have a parameter inside the report called brand parameter which can be selected to see the result of an individual brand or in the default view you can see the sales report of all the brands separated into separate pages this is one of the salient features of paginated report that the data can be assembled into multiple pages based on a grouping in this case we are having a different pages for the sales related to different brands so this is a typical use case where paginated reports comes handy. The problem with this report is if you see the options here, the normal options that you will get for the conventional Power BI reports are not available. You, are, you don't have the pin option here which can be used for pinning this report to a dashboard. You can't have any other options which are associated to the conventional Power BI reports. Now let's see how we can integrate this paginated report to a conventional Power BI report inside of Power BI desktop and publish it so that this report can be used along with other conventional reports inside our dashboard or it can be even used for cross filtering with one or more of our visuals. So before that let's see how we have created this report. For creating the report we will be using the Power BI report builder tool so if you go to the power bi report builder and it's a downloadable and you go inside that you can see the design view of this report and we create the report using power bi report builder and the power bi report builder is an application which can be downloaded from the power bi service itself so we have created the report like this now let's see how we are going to integrate this report inside our conventional Power BI report. For this, let's open a blank Power BI report using Power BI desktop. So we do have a blank Power BI report now opened. So to integrate this paginated report inside our conventional Power BI report, all we need to use is the new feature, which is actually a visual available within our visualizations. It is called the paginated report visual which is available as one of the options. This is still in preview. It has just been released in the latest June 2021 update. So we can just click on it and it will automatically get added to your canvas, the page canvas. And by default, it will have a connect to report button. So click on connect to report button. And one prerequisite is that you should have logged into your Power BI service from within your Power BI desktop. So I have logged into my Power BI service using the same login which I have used while publishing this report. So it will list all the RDL reports which are available inside my workspace. So I can see three reports there. All these three reports are available inside my workspace within Power BI portal. 
all these three reports are available within my workspace inside power bi portal so go to notebook reports you can see all these reports revenue by sales sales by brand all these are example you can see you can make it out from the icon itself that all these are paginated reports all the reports will be listed inside your power bi report for you to select so now we here we are going to integrate sales by brand record so you can select that sales by brand report and then you can click on set parameters in case it has a parameter it's a parameterized report means you'll be provided with the selection for the parameter if it's not a parameterized report you will get a message telling that there are no parameters to select and you can go ahead so here you have a parameter called brand if you want you can set the default value itself or if you want to change it you can ch change it and pass a value from within your power bi uh, data set so here we are not yet assigned it a data set so we don't have to really attach it so you can use the default option itself in case you had a, uh, already a data set which contains the brand field and you want to pass the value of the brand field from within the data set that is possible at this point in time so now click on see report and you can see a preview of the report inside your power bi conventional report so now the preview has loaded and you can see a preview of the report if you see now you can see only the landing page if you want to see the additional pages you have to enable toolbox for that select the report and uh, go to the edit option and in that properties you can see a property called toolbar you have to enable the toolbar once you enable the toolbar automatically the explorer bar will get applied on top of that and using that you can now move from one page to another so this is the first page you can click on that and go to the second page like that you can navigate through each and every page of the report using the toolbar now if you want to add the parameters also even that is also possible inside the toolbar there is an option for parameters just set it to on so it will show the parameters as well so if you want to see the parameters click on the parameters button you can see the parameter and you can change the parameter and click on view report so now we have uh, all i'll set it to one of the parameter for example i'm going to set it to surly so i just want to see only the data for surly click on view report the report will get refreshed with only the surly brand being displayed now if you want you can attach a data set also to this so let's add a data set so now we have added a data set to your model you can see the tables on your right side and we are going to associate one of the values inside you can drag and drop the brand name inside the parameters and if you want to now add the parameter also to be passed from that it's possible for that just go to edit and again it will show you the landing page where you can select the report select the same report and in the set parameters instead of setting the default you can map it onto your data set fields if you want so suppose if your data set is only returning a subset of these values only the subset will be rendered by your report you just just map it to the data set field that's it so the electra is the default value that is taken from the data set so now click on your c report automatically the report gets associated to your data set field and it will show the data for the electra because that is your default value now it shows only electra and if you want you can take it from change it from here or if you want you can also add another visual side by side which shows any other details say brand name along with the sale quantity just go to your paginated visual select edit on your paginated visual and you can go to the properties and there is an option for auto apply filters you can click on auto apply filters so that the cross filtering will work and based on the value that you're selecting in the other uh, visual automatically the corresponding brand name will be passed on to your paginated visual and the data will get automatically filtered based on the selection suppose if i'm selecting richie it will pass the richie on to your paginated visual and it will show richie as the display data for the brand as you see it has now changed to richie now you select something else for example you select sun bicycles the paginated report will also change it to sun bicycles so now that you're happy with the cross filtering as well as you're happy with the passing of parameters now we can publish it to the service so you can change it back to the full data and click on publish inside power bi desktop to publish this new integrated report onto your power bi workspace so let's save this first pagination integration let's name it pagination integration and let's save it now once it is saved you can click on publish so that it gets published inside the any of the workspaces so let's choose the test workspace for now and click on select so that the report will get published inside test workspace 
the publishing is done now can we go back to power bi portal and let's go to workspaces go to test workspace and we'll be able to see the report that we have deployed now and this is where we have deployed it you can see the page native integration report which is actually a native power bi report you can make it out from the icon click on that and you can see both the reports that you have included inside and here also you can check whether the cross filtering is working fine you can click on any one for example strider and automatically the paginator report will also show only the slider data which means that the cross filtering is working perfectly now that all of this is tested now what you can do is like you can also see how we can pin it onto a dashboard if you see on the top toolbar all the options which are available for conventional power bi reports are now available so that you can able to find that option to pin it to the dashboard click on that pin it to dashboard option and then you can click on new dashboard and you can just name it like pagination example or something like that and click on pin live automatically the page will be pinned live to the dashboard now if you go to the dashboard you can see the paginator report inside the dashboard as you see now the dashboard also includes the paginated report along with the other visual that you have included within the page and still if you see the cross filtering will still work here and because you have included the toolbar the native functionality of parameters also works here if you want you can change the parameter here also and click on view report even that is also possible so it works even within the dashboard so this is an example of how you can integrate the paginated report inside your conventional power bi report and thereby you can overcome the limitation of getting it pinned inside your da dashboard or getting it cross filtered based on your other visuals so, so this is a very good addition that has been added inside the power bi desktop and hopefully in the future releases we can see more features which provides us with overcoming the similar limitations inside power bi tool so hope you enjoyed this quick demo feel free to let me know your comments as usual feel free to follow my youtube channel for getting useful tips like this and click on bell icon for getting notifications thanks all for the time see you all soon with another useful quick tip thank you